Well, today marks nine years since two Toledo firefighters died in the line of duty. Stephen Mashinsky and Jamie Dickman, they lost their lives while battling an arson fire at an apartment on Mangolia Street, at Magnolia Street rather, in North Toledo. We're going to check in with Chase Bachman. He is live in North Toledo for us today. Chase, how is the community remembering them? Well, Jeff, Station 3 and others across Toledo are having meals dropped off as a way to say thank you to those that sacrifice to help us Toledoans in an emergency. It's just, I, I remember the day. It was pretty painful, painful day. Lieutenant Brian Metazinski was working with Stephen Machinsky on January 25th, 2014. That's when he and fellow firefighter Jamie Dickman were killed in the line of duty. Metazinski remembers that time well. Bad tragedy. I mean, it was it hurt all hurt all of us, you know. And some of us were good friends with them. Each January for the last nine years, the community remembers the fallen firefighters. And while the pain will never completely go away, their brothers and sisters say each year gets a little easier. The pain kind of subsides, but yeah, it's, it's kind of business as usual. But you know, we still remember. In the last few years, the nonprofit group Toledo Strong shows their appreciation for firefighters donating meals to stations across the city. It's an annual tradition to thank people like Devin Price for their sacrifice. It's very uh, welcoming, it's very uh, heartwarming to know that the community that we're serving also loves us back. You know, understanding what today meant for us as a department for them to, to give us food and provide us breakfast is, is a great feeling um, and we appreciate it a lot. Price says it's just another thing that makes working together at Station 3 so special. Um, but overall, it's a great crew. I'm happy to be a part of the, the department and honestly happy to be in this neighborhood. Now, Toledo Strong is always looking for help. If you'd like to donate to their GoFundMe, we have the link on our website, WTOL.com. Reporting live in North Toledo, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.